would you just buy my gold locket? This may look like an animated cartoon, but it's actually a $500 million industry. Computer games. Literally millions of people around the world have experienced one of these interactive adventures, like the games in the King's Quest series from Sierra Online. Unlike their less sophisticated cousins, video game cartridges, today's computer games are powerful packages that take full advantage of today's fast machines. In the last 10 years, computer games have gone from stick figures to pixelized art to full color adventures with stereo sound. And as these games have become more complex and more advanced, the production has become more involved and expensive. With budgets now approaching a million dollars or more, creating a computer game has become a lot like making a motion picture. Back in 1980, when my husband and I worked on our first game, which was Mystery House, um, we did all the work ourselves. Uh, I wrote the game from a scripting standpoint. I did the dialogue, I did the, um, the art. My husband did the programming. Of, of he would take my art, put it into the game, and my scripting, and put it into the game, and he programmed it. Since King's Quest VI is so important to Sierra, we made sure that we assembled a crew of the best writers, artists, animators, and programmers that the industry has to offer. And not only that, we also brought in specialists like cinematographers and composers. King's Quest VI, the latest installment in the immensely popular series from California software publisher Sierra Online, is currently in production. The company employs over 500 people, all engaged in some aspect of computer game production. A game like King's Quest VI takes about a year and a half to produce and has a budget of over a million dollars. During this time, the designers and the artists work together to create a storyboard that outlines the entire project, just like in a motion picture. The difference is, in a computer game, you have to plan what the player is going to do and choose different responses and storylines based upon those actions. It's very much like a movie. The, the difference is that you are there as the player playing the game. You're there. You're the one determining how this movie goes. Working from the storyboards, artists create backgrounds and characters. Using traditional animation methods or video captured technology, that creates a more movie-like atmosphere. By, uh, by using live costume actors, we can make the action as realistic as possible. That sequence can then be taken into a computer program, where an artist can modify the action and blend it with hand-painted backgrounds. For King's Quest VI, we captured over 2,000 separate character movements. These sequences are assembled by programmers who construct the game in such a way that players can uncover puzzles in any order without losing the overall story. The end result? A mini-movie where the player directs the action. From the time I was a little girl, I always wanted to do movies. I mean, from the time I can ever recall telling people what I wanted to do for a living, it was, I always said, I want to work in the movies, and I didn't mean in front of the camera. I really think that writing or scripting out an adventure game is more difficult than a movie. Playing a King's Quest game is like playing a beautiful fantasy film where you play the lead actor, the director, and you're also the audience all at the same time. 